Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. So boards are going to come in, uh, it's going to start from 1st of March uh, and uh, I am sure a lot of you must be anxious, or everyone who is in 12th standard must be very very anxious. Uh, ki, sir, we should be studying for theory for boards because um, if need doesn't happen, these board exam marks are going to help us get into colleges or should we study for need and let these go, boards go to hell or something on those lines. But in my opinion, boards are the, uh, is a government given holiday scheme for you to prepare for need. Just remember simple one thing that this one month of board examination, they are giving you leave so that you can actually revise your 12th standard and then give an exam. The exam is just theory and you just need to add one thing from your side and that is MCQ which will be neat. Right. So the simple way you can actually use your board preparation in order to succeed in NEET is that in March, in March, you just do 12th revision. You do what? You just do 12th revision. In April, you do 11th revision and try to finish it in 20 or 25 days and the last 10 to 15 days, something which I emphasize as far as postgraduate entrance examination is also concerned, in the last 10 to 15 days, you revise your 11th and 12th standard, the most important topics, the things that you tend to forget, the concepts that you are weak at, you revise that and on the exam day, you go and hit a six and get the rank that you desire, get this code, get this stethoscope. So don't think of boards as, you know, a, a stop gap in which you are not being able to prepare for NEET. You are preparing for NEET just through wise and you need to add one more thing to it that is keep on doing MCQ practice. So the simple thing that I followed and you can actually follow through uh, also is that let's say you have five days to do for physics in which you have to revise your entire 12th standard. So for two hours you study theory, for one hour you write your answers, the theory related answers, you practice theory related answer and after that for one to 1.5 hours you practice MCQs. So this way your MCQ practice also keeps on going on. You practice neat previous year questions and you practice whichever MCQ book that you have, an NCRT based MCQ book that I will uh, uh, suggest you to have. You practice an NCRT based MCQ so that your MCQ breaks practice is also being done. So this way your boards will not just stay theory, you have actually revised MCQs as well, you have revised the entire 12th standard in this one month and that will be very very helpful for you to crack neat in the very first attempt that you're giving. Similarly, let's say you're doing biology, especially in biology what people do, people keep on remembering NCRT, 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 and you don't practice MCQ, that's not very true. I'll recommend you one book. Simple. Simple funda karna hai, isme koji dimaag nahi lagana hai. Let's say tumne kya kiya, tumne molecular basis of inheritance kiya. Bhoat tough chapter hai, this is something which people tend to feel is a tough chapter. You read molecular basis over two to three hours. Doesn't take more than time that. You solve some, uh, you know, board style, style question over one hour. And then for two hours, for two hours, you practice molecular basis of inheritance from an NCRT based book. Uh, if you have an app, you can use an app, but if you are using, if you want to use a book, because the exam is offline, so you should start practicing book-based MCQs now. Aapka zamana bhi thoda kam ho gaya. But you can use this, you know, molecular basis. You simple, these are NCRT based MCQs, Master Class in Biology, an excellent book. Simply solve these MCQs, these uh, NCRT based MCQs from this. And then your molecular basis and inheritance is done. Plain and simple. You did the theory, you read NCRT, you practice MCQs from a really, really good book, which has very tough, but uh, you know, good question only and only from NCRT. If you have a, a doubt, this has given audio explanation as well. And on the last day, and on the last day, let's say sixth day, when you have covered the entire 12th, you give mock test. You, you revise the theory again once and you give full 12th syllabus mock test. You can actually give this mock test from this book itself and the online also these mock tests, you'll get a rank also. So in this one week, you have not just prepared for boards, you have also prepared for need. Your 12th revision is done, your practice is done, your all India ranking is done. And in this way, boards can actually help you clear your NEET exam. Don't think of them as an impediment towards a NEET exam. You just need to do one thing extra after studying theory for two, two and a half hours, just practice MCQs. The other way boards are actually also going to help you is very important. These are an all India level exam. So you actually will help you manage your anxiety or your can't be hoti hum ki na during exams. Wo bhi handle karna tumhe aajayega. So three ways boards are going to help you if you actually integrate MCQ practice into it. This one month you can revise your entire 12 standard and in an anxiety way. So these three ways boards are actually going to be very very helpful for your need preparation if you use this one month very effectively. And for NCRT based MCQ practice, my recommendation, master class in biology. At the same point of time, it's just not MCQ based practice. It has audio explanation and mock test also, 25 plus mock test that you can consider giving any given point of time and you will full syllabus practice. That's it from my side today. Thank you and have a nice day.